Good evening, family and friends. Thank you for coming all the way out to Havila for such a special day in Zach and Lacey's life. We like to call this area God's country. And what a beautiful place to grow up and tie the knot. Your parents should be so proud of both of you. You're both amazing people. And the things that you do for people are amazing. And that comes from what you learned from your family. I feel that it's a privilege that I've been adopted by both of you and the family members. And for all of those who aren't here, they're watching. They love you. And this is God's country. And God put this all together. To this sacred moment, they bring the fullness of their hearts as a treasure and a gift from God to share to one another. They bring their dreams, which bind them together in eternal commitment, and they bring the gifts, talents, spirits, extremely unique personalities, which God will unite together into one being in their life together. We rejoice with them in thankfulness to the Lord for creating this union of hearts, which is built on friendship, respect, and love. Who gives this woman to be married to this man? Her mother and I do. I have worked together for almost 10 years. I've watched her grow. I've watched the love of her family and her friends surround her and make her the unbelievably beautiful woman that she is inside and out. Everybody in our industry, when you talk about Lacey, have high regards. She's excellent at what she does. And I did tell Zach when they met, and I knew it was getting serious. I said, Zach, if you take her away from me, I will hunt you down and find you. For those that do not know me, my name is Jimbo. For those that do know me well, I'm sorry. I guess Zach figured I'd be the most qualified person for the job. Oh boy, what was he thinking? Or better off, what was he drinking? I mean, come on. Anyways, Zach and I go way back into the early days of high school. But we really did not become best friends until our early 20s. You know, Zach needed to grow up a little bit before I could take our relationship to the next level. I mean, I'm just being honest. Who would have thought two of these beautiful people growing up in basically the same area, 15 miles apart, never spoken or known of each other, which is very hard in a small town like this. I mean, both met at a country music festival of 30,000 people in Quincy, Washington. Zach is seriously one of the highest quality people I know. I can't say I know as many people as hardworking, dedicated, and caring as he is. And oh man, what a great quality to bring into a new marriage. Lacey, you've snagged yourself a good one here. I have no doubt he'll be a great husband and even a better father. I give you this ring. I give you this ring as a symbol of our vows. With all that I am and all that I have, I honor you. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. With this ring, I be wed. With this ring, I be wed. She walked out with the floral blouse Back then, everyone was near Hand in hand, you enter this marriage. Hand in hand, you step out in faith. The hand you freely give each other is both the strongest and the most tender part of your new body. In the years ahead, you will need both strength and tenderness. Be firm in your commitment and don't let your grip become weak. And yet be flexible as you go through change. Do not let your hold become intolerable. Strength 
tenderness, firm commitment and flexibility of such as a marriage made hand in hand. Also remember that you don't walk this path alone. Don't be afraid to reach out to others when together you face difficulty. Friends, family, the church, to accept an outreach hand is not an admission of failure, but it's an act of faith. For behind us, underneath us, and all around us are the outstretched arms of the Lord, and it is into His hands and the God of Jesus Christ that above all else we commit this union of husband and wife. Isaac, I promise you, Lacey, that I will be your husband. That I will be your wife from this day forward, to be faithful and honest in every way, to honor the faith and trust you place in me. To love and respect you and your successes and your failures. To make you laugh and be there when you cry. To take care of you in sickness and in health. I'm sorry. <laughs> to softly kiss you when you're hurting. To be your companion and your friend on this journey that we make together. I pronounce them to be husband and wife in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, sir. <laughs> no. <laughs> Tonight we celebrate you. We wish you a lifetime of happiness, love, health, success and laughter. May you continue to find humor in the bad, appreciation for the good. May your friendship continue to grow throughout all the years to come. I'm honored to be by your side for this wonderful night. Cheers to the happy couple. I say cheers to Mr. and Mrs. Coleman.